So our control with yeast and sucrose shows uh, not very much change. Here is one of our experimental tubes. Looks like we got 40 or 50 millimeters of carbon dioxide with that one. Maybe about the same here. Nice. Yes, so we showed fermentation and carbon dioxide production with sucrose and yeast. This took us about an hour and I had to crank the heat up to about 80 degrees Celsius to get it warm enough to catalyze this reaction. The suggestion was 37 degrees Celsius, which is body temperature, but I just was not getting any result quickly. So uh, increasing the temperature certainly helped this fermentation reaction happen at a much faster pace.